Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. I'm Lauri. I'm Hanna. And today we're going to do some real material science. Quite often companies send their advanced alloys to be tested with our press. And today we are going to test Olight's OAL aluminium alloy. And this video is also sponsored by Olight. And yes, we are going to crush some flashlights. Firstly, to see will the better material help at all. And also, of course, will the batteries explode. And I thought that if this should be like really good, should we also have really bad aluminium? <laughs> and I made the shittiest aluminium alloy ever. If you add some gallium to aluminium, it's going to be weak as hell. And we have made just that with this part. Okay, I think we are going to start with the regular 7075 as benchmark. And then after that, we are going to test the good one and the shit one. Okay, before the shit started to fly, it was 200 tons. And the way it broke tells a lot of the material because the 7075, it started to bend way earlier and then exploded. This just didn't bend at all. It stood there and then started to crumble into like million pieces. So it's completely different alloy than the 7075. Okay, so this is really hard. And now it's time for this. Mm. What do you think? It's gonna be really, really shitty because we are really good at doing shitty stuff. <laughs> That's well said. Uh, but can you see, I think it's, ah, we haven't yeah. had enough gallium. It's mm. maybe not gone all the way through. It's like two thirds of the aluminum mm. is complete shit. And then we have some good aluminum left. But I think it's going to still be quite poor, poor result. So let's have a look. Okay, we are ready with the shittiest aluminium ever. What is the name of the alloy? Shit alloy. I say that, that that's nice always. Yeah, you can see and, it perfectly. And I have to press on the slow speed. So it's the same as the other aluminium. Super interesting. Yeah. Did you see how the front of the aluminium was like a piece of shit? Yeah. And then the back side was nice. Yeah, I was so scared because the whole press was bending. Yeah, it was like, uh, this was like two days in oven because it's cold in Finland and the indoors are only like 20 degrees here at the workshop at my home. Because me and Timo both are cheap asses mm. and we are saving, <laughs> saving money. By Professional not, cheap asses. By not like uh, heating too much. So I had to have this in oven so the reaction is faster. But I'm not sure, did we have too little of time or too little of gallium? But only the very surface of the mm. aluminium, aluminium went to total shit. But that's total shit. Yeah, that was what we were looking for. Yeah, this is the shittiest, shittiest alloy ever. Yeah, it's like, okay, I think that this is like maybe two millimeters. Yeah. Yeah, it's like 
I would say like this is the about same strength as soft wood. Okay. Doesn't feel metal at all. Yeah, it feels somehow it feels like a bit like chocolate. It's much okay. harder, but it's it, it feels a bit like chocolate. I think because of the weight is probably also quite mm. close to the chocolate. Yeah, I think we are going to go to the old press and see how the actual lights work. And also will the battery explode? We have to crush crush couple one with the batteries also. So here we go. And the lights that we are going to crush are all lights Arkfeld lights. And this is the Arkfeld Ultra new model with the OAL. And we are going to also test out just the frames to see the exact effect of the material. First we have original Arkfeld and this is made out of well-known 6061 aluminium. So not OAL. Let's see how strong it is. Okay, and here's the end result. After two tons, it's slightly bent. So even the original model is quite strong and it's even stronger when there's batteries and stuff inside. Okay, now we have the ultra version there and based on the material cross, I think this doesn't bend that much with the two tons. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, it's already, it was three tons and it's not bent at all. Let's keep going. Oh, with 50% more load, it didn't bend at all. It's just started to crumble from the top, just like the original one. Okay, and then we have fully charged Arkfeld lights on the left side, original, and on the right side, ultra. Let's see how they can handle the 150 ton press. Okay, I have to say that I'm actually surprised that there was such a big difference. The OAL light, the Arkfeld Ultra, took over twice the force to be crushed before the light turns off than the older model. And both have really safe battery chemistries because we didn't see any fire or explosions. And in overall, I think this was a really interesting video. And if you want to check out Olight lights, there's a link down in the description to their web store so you can buy your own Arkfeld Ultra made with OAL from there. And yeah, that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.